Hello again. Good afternoon. Lutra FM back for another episode of TW 2020 Fight Club Pro. Um, first of all, I apologize for there not being an episode yesterday. Nothing to worry about, but basically my girlfriend had some issues with her diabetes and we had to go to the hospital for a few hours to make sure that she was all right. She is all right. Everything's fine. She's got um, some different medication now to help her with it. So she's fine. But Anybody with diabetes or knows somebody with diabetes knows that it it needs it's a serious thing. And then when people have their uh what the moments where they have their hypers or hypos or whatever they call it, um, you know, you've just got to keep an eye on them, make sure they're right. And that's what I had to do yesterday. So I apologize. By the time we come back, it was too late to do an episode. So um you're getting one today as well. Um and then tomorrow it will be Football Manager, and then and then on Saturday it'll be TUW again, and then Sunday it'll be Football Manager stuff. So every every other day you'll get a TUW episode for the rest of this week. But um, we have exciting news ahead of us, don't we? TUW, um, Grey Dog Software, and Adam Ryland has announced a new TUW game, and it was really random. It literally got announced a couple of days ago, um, randomly on the forum. I thought it was a joke to start off with, but there was there was no there was no like announcement and then it will take a certain amount of time like it has done with the other ones it's literally i'll show you um on here it's really really random and weird but i'm not complaining so he's put on here i'm pleased to officially announce that the newest game in the tw franchise pro sorry total extreme wrestling 9 will be released by gray dog software in just a few weeks additionally the ever popular developers Journal will begin today in order to reveal the new features and changes that you can expect. Um, the, the public beta of TW9 will be released on Saturday, the 27th of July. So bear that in mind. That is literally 23 days time from this recording. Um, for those unfamiliar with this, the public beta is free to play and offers a full functional version of the game, but with a limit on how many months of in-game you can play. This allows you to try before you buy and gives us the opportunity to address uh, any installation of gameplay issues before the game goes on sale. The full, re the full, I'm so sorry, I get these words butchered all the time. The full retail release of TW9 will be uh, one week later on Saturday, August the 3rd. So that is literally um, um, probably a, um, less than a month's time. It's the, 4th, it's the 4th of July today as I'm recording this. So about a month's time, basically. The price will be confirmed closer to release. Now, I'm assuming it will be about the same price as the last one. Maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more. It just depends with inflation and everything. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if you pay like 40 quid and you get years and years worth of um, gameplay out of it, similar to how I play Football Manager, I'll happily pay 40 quid a year if I get 12 months worth of gameplay on that game. Because so I play Football Manager six or seven hours a day if not more so i think it's worth the money for me um why is it called t so there's frequently asked questions on here so we're going to go through them. um question one is why is it called tw9 and not tw uh, 2024 and then we've put we've decided to make this change to the name and schedule because having a year in the title is generally used to denote an annual release as there are several years between modern TEW releases, we felt a switch to numbers would be more appropriate going forward, which you can understand really, to be honest. Um, what will the licensing situation be is the next question. And they said the game will be under the QLM license system that Grey Dog software has been using for the past couple of years. As those who have used it will know, this is a much easier to use and more convenient system than the old e-license system that we used in the past. And then uh, next question is, will I be able to continue my TW 2020 save games? Now, this is important to me as I'm doing this save now on here. And they put no, as they are two separate products. Uh, as usual, a converter is provided so that TW database can be converted to work with TW9. So I've obviously got to try and do my work with that to carry on this save. Now, I could carry on the Fight Club Pro save or I could start a game from scratch on TW9 once a decent modern day uh, mod has come out basically i haven't figured that out yet so next question is what's the new features and changes that there will, will there be and um, it says the developers journal starts today and will be used to reveal new features and changes there will be at least one entry 
every weekday between now and the game's release. As usual, a lot of the changes come directly from the posts that people have made in the suggestions forum over the past few years. So that's pretty good, though, that they take on people's suggestions and try and implement them. I don't know if Football Manager does that particularly because there's so, there's so many suggestions people have put and I don't think they've done it, but I could be wrong on that one. So it is good that they're listening to their fans. Uh, next question, is this an entirely new game? And the answer is TW9 uses the same base as TW2020, so you'll recognize the general layout and concepts. This is because there's no sense in reinventing the wheel when we already have a very popular stable basis to work off. New features and changes are applied on top of the, that foundation to enhance and expand the game. So basically, it's it, they haven't like started from scratch. Um, they're still using the same software, which is a shame, really. I was hoping if they did bring out a new TUW game, they would get upgraded software. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a decent game, but... You know, you compare that to other games, and you can. It's like night and day, really. It's it's um, it's a shame they didn't want to fork out upgrading the software that they used to uh, to make the game. Maybe it would probably cost effective, but it, it at least it means we know how to. It, we'll know how to play the game straight away. It won't be one then where we'll just try and figure it out. Um, next question is: Will there be a map version? And then they put no. Grey Dog Software only produces window based games. And then the next question is, will I meet the minimum requirements? And the answer is, although TW9 is significantly bigger than TW 2020, if your computer is able to play the latter, you will definitely be able to play the new game too. So that's great for people who have old computers. Um, I have a brand new laptop I've only had for about a month, so it will be fine for me. But even on my old laptops, it will probably work fine. So if you've got a computer that you've had for many years, then you should be okay. Um, and then the next last question is, what times will the release be? And the answer is to avoid a large spike in traffic and problems that causes um, that the problems that it causes. We will not be announcing the exact time for release. It will be, however, be handled by Grey Dog Software and and so be on US time. So I'm obviously from the UK, um, but I'm not that bothered about installing the game straight away because to be honest, I probably I'll probably I'll probably buy the game as soon as I can. But I won't be playing it until somebody releases a modern day mod for it, so I can real life mod for it because I don't play the um the 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 fantasy convo convoverse or whatever it's called. The con I can't remember what it's called now, but yeah, um, my mate Josh, for instance, he loves playing on that one. But I I need real wrestlers for me. Uh, so here's the next entry. So this is the next entry in the journal, um, <clears throat> and it says. Welcome to the first day of TW9's Developer's Journal. This way this works is... Sorry, no, let me start that again. The way this works is that every weekday between now and the release, you'll get a journal entry with detailing some of the additions and all changes that have been made since the previous game, as we've got over 200 items to get through and only four weeks to do it. We will, This will differ from previous journals. Every day will be consist of multiple reels rather than concentrating just one. There's no particular order to the reveals, but I'm doing it. I'm going to sprinkle in several mi more minor reveals to each day, rather than giving a long list at the end like I normally do. Let's get started with today's entry. So they're probably just trying to get people excited a little bit at a time. Um, I'm not going to go through all this because this, it will take me forever, and I've got um, I've got my my save with Fight Club Pro to do. But I just thought I'd give you a heads up for people who don't know yet that um, TW is coming out. So a new TW game is coming out, so keep your eyes posted and let me know in the comments section if you're excited, not excited. What are you excited about um, about the game? What new features are you excited about? What new features aren't you are you excited about? Just let me know. Let's build some feedback. Let's see what we all think. Um, also, let me know in the comments section if you think I should just start again or with the new TW game, or try and convert the database and my save over. Um, I don't think I can. I might not be able to. I think. I think what he said was I can. You can convert a database over, but I don't know if that means you can then send. I mean, convert the save game file over as well. I need to ask that elsewhere. But yeah, right. So that is the end of that bit. Uh, a bit of a long intro, um, but I'll be back in a minute with um, a bit of a bit of update on my save on TW, and then we'll start the the sh first show of the episode. So. 
Thank you for watching the intro. I hope you liked the new game information. And I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back for our first show of the episode. Uh, I do have some news, though, on the roster side of things. So we've signed, we've got a few new additions. We've got um, Cody Vance, um, who was in real life Preston Vance in AW. Actually, in fact, as high as we can, I'm going to change his gimmick to 10 because I prefer the mask gimmick with him. Ah, right, okay. Will it let me? Uh, have I got a photo for him? Okay, that's annoying. Right, for now I'll just put the Preston Vance. Yeah, that's all about. Unless it lets me have it. Ah, there we go. Right, so we've got 10 now. Good stuff. Right, I prefer him in that gig, in that gimmick. Um, so we've got 10, and then we've got a couple of other additions. My mouse is really winding me up today, so I apologise, everyone. It's probably winding you up as well. Right, so we've got Edge. Now, Edge is a controversial character in the game at the moment because he recently um, he recently got done for a, a part of a steroid scandal. So we're actually taking a big risk to our reputation having him on the roster. Um, so, yeah, not good at the moment. If I just click on... Where is it? No, I need to click on his roster page i can't remember how you do it when you look at personal stuff but um anyway so we've got edge and then we've got another wrestler we've got park from aw so i think park would is definitely going to be up there he, he could definitely be the champion at some point we just need to see whether he's good enough looking at his match history i mean he didn't wrestle he hasn't wrestled this year so, you know, if he's with the right opponent, like the Young Bucks, he does really well. And then if he's not, like, for instance, it says Hook and the Acclaim defeated the Park and the Wild Riots. So he got a 71 rating. He even got a 68 rating in this six-man as well. So one-on-one, -on -one, he's probably better, um, just depending on who he's with. So, but I think him... So, and also, apparently, according to my creative, um, Nathan Martin is our third best wrestler. And then we've got Gabe Stevenson, who I've barely put in there. He's currently training for an MMA fight on the game. So in about 30 days, he'll be back. So we might start pushing him a bit as well, putting him in matches, see how he gets on. Anyway, we've got our first show of the episode. So we'll start with a tag team match. Um, and we'll have the tag team champions, more than high, have them defend their tag team titles against um who have they not wrestled yet actually we'll just put them against the young guns see how they get on there, like so yeah nathan martin is a very good wrestler on here i'm uh i'm, I'm so glad i found him randomly what i've started doing now is there there'll be a few wrestlers coming in over the next couple of episodes, I've raided, um, I've raided some of the younger British wrestling companies because I was sick of them raiding me. So I've offered written contracts to quite a few wrestlers that are either already on my roster but wrestling for other companies as well to tie them down to me a bit more. They're not exclusive written; they're written. So I think that's I think that means they can still wrestle for the other companies, but their loyalty is to us first. So hopefully that will help us. But yeah, and then we've got to do an angle. We'll do an angle afterwards. Luke Jacobs, fighting Ethel, fighting. And then we'll have Nathan Martin salad. Darren Kearney salad, like so. I don't like doing these. They're boring. I'd rather just do all matches. But because of the product I'm using, I have to do it. Right. Let's do a one-on-one -on -one women's match now. And we'll have... Um, who is the, I can't remember the champion is, I think it's, uh, is it Jetta? I could be wrong. Or is it Kaylee Ray? We haven't even got Kaylee Ray, have we? I can't remember who my women's champion is. I think I don't have one actually at the moment. 
Oh, I do. It is Jetta. Yeah. Thank God we've got Jetta at the moment. So we'll have Jetta. And then we'll have her against... Who should we have? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry whatever her name is. Sorry. Can't pronounce her name. We were previously discovered... Oh, yeah, we can't have them. So we'll have to have... Oh, my God. We'll have to have you. There we go. Let's try her out. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully that'll work. Women's Jetta open match. Uh, otherwise, putting against. Okay, I just need to put that down to fifteen. There we go, like so, and then we'll just do um, Jetta microphone you. And like say, I'll have that as a promo before the show. Actually, oh, what am I doing? Um, sorry about this. Right. So what we'll do then is we'll just put not rated. So we'll just have her do a promo before the match. Right, we've got seven more minutes left. So we've overbooked this a bit. Uh, actually, now we can actually do another match, I think. We do one more match. And then we'll do Park versus Kid Lycos to hopefully they'll have a banger of a match as Seamus would say. We'll just do open match. Oh my god, no, I did not want to click on that. So this mouse pad is um it's very stiff at times, so it just takes ages to move it across how I want it to move across. Right, so we'll leave that there. I'd advise, oh great, so unfortunately we can't put pack in long matches, which is really annoying. We can't even put them in a 12 minute match, so this is not going to work out as well as I would like. 10 minutes then, it is what it is, nothing we can do about it. Right, let's see how we get on. So, um, tag team match got a 78 rating. Uh, standout performer was Nathan Martin. Darren Kearney was very good as well, though. So, if Nathan Martin gets snatched up at some point and we still got Darren Kearney, at least we know we can rely on him as a singles wrestler. Um, Luke Jacobs and Ethel Allen aren't as good as... They didn't perform very well in this, to be honest, but it is what it is. Angle afterwards got a 58. Um, the angle set the women's match got a 67 and then their match got an 88 Jesus Christ that's a great performance yeah you had an 84 so she's a lot better than Jetta but Jetta at least I can rely on her for now because there's no point putting the title on you or Suri because they're only on here on free mill contracts and they'll be gone soon so I need some stability in the women's division at the moment and try until I find wrestlers. The only, the only women wrestlers I've found that are good are all from Japan, but a lot of them, I've, I've, there's quite a few I've managed to sign on written contracts and not just for three months. So I'm hoping then, then they'll be good enough and I can build a women's division again. Oh, I forgot to get rid of Lady Dolores. It's only got a 69. See, Pax... See, pack is just I need to go in the editor in a minute and change it because that's just ridiculous. He only got a 63. There's no way he should be that. He should be the same as Kid Lycos. He should be super performing. Right, it overall got a 72. We improved our popularity in one region and we got 120 people in. So it's not that bad. But yeah, in a second, I'm going to get rid of Lady Dolores and also upgrade um pack. Because, like I said, he should be able to wrestle more than 10 minutes. He's only 40 in the game, I think. And also, he there's no way he should be only getting a 63 with Kid Like Us. That should be an 80 at least. So, yeah, this database is a bit messed up. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Hello, I'm back. So, I've completely copped up. I thought I was recording. I didn't record. So, the last show that I just did... Fortunately, you didn't get to see. Um, it wasn't anything amazing, but we'll we'll go through it quickly now. On the if my bloody laptop stops playing up, um, where's show history again? It is there. You go show history. So the last afterburn episode we did, 
we did like so i've signed loads of women's wrestlers to just give them a try out nobody really performed that well um worth keeping but what i'm going to do is what i'll do is i'll have jetta wrestle them and see how she how much of a good match she can get out of them and then we'll determine whether they are worth keeping or not um and then we did the same with all these new male wrestlers i've signed um there was a couple that did okay got like a like seven in the 70s but nothing amazing i did an angle with pack and edge um before basically before this show i upgraded edge and pack um but unfortunately edge still only had 63 rating which i don't understand because if you look at his attributes um if i show you his attributes he shouldn't be getting um these ratings i mean look at all these these are all blue so i don't understand why he's only getting a 63 in ring rating can somebody let me know in the comment section how i fix this uh i'm not saying he's gonna have like amazing matches all the time especially at his age now but he should still get like a 75 rating in the ring every time until he retires I don't know how long I've got him for though, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I also signed Cody Vance from AW. Um, I already basically talked about this, but I don't think. Uh, oh no, I did. I did actually. No, it's fine. It's all right. I already mentioned about that. So let's have a look at the creative quickly before. Uh, yeah, so it's still the same since I've created him. So right, so this is just a quick, quick part of the video just to basically redo what i'd already done but messed up and forgot to record it so i'll be back in a minute with the next ep part of the episode right so we've got the next episode luckily i've checked and i am recording so there is that so at least there's that right um we're gonna do another actually we'll do a four-way singles this time with the women we'll have jessa defend the title against um so we've got Waka Tsukima Tsukijama. Um we got Fekia or Tekia, maybe, I don't know. And then we've got Ryo Misumana Mis Ryo Misunami. One with a face, two with not. So hopefully we can find another super worker in the women's division because we are lacking even if we get like four or five really good women's wrestlers and then the rest are just not very good and then that way at least they can make others look good and we can get decent matches out of them uh we'll do jetta microphone and then who was the other wrestlers oh uh, whacker so we won't bother rating any of these. Just have Je Jetta do a in-ring promo before the show starts. Uh, go away. There you go. My mouse has a mind of its own at the moment. Right, so that's that. Um, we'll swap them over like so. Uh, we'll do another... 10 man men's match, I think. If it lets me click on this. There we go. I like it. I like the fact that this you got 10, you can have 10 wrestlers because it means you can just try out a lot of wrestlers that haven't wrestled for you and just see if they actually are any good. Right, so we've got Yasuki Okada. William William Grange um Tate Mayfairs Sean Jackson Scotty Davis Rocky Mack Press Ten, which is meant to be ten by the way, I still haven't uh I don't know why it comes up as press ten. Anyway, Peter Farrell, Paris Silver and uh, we'll put Pack in there just for the sake of it.
uh, and then we'll do press press 10 fighting pack selling after the match so then we'll put them in a singles match next show and then what we'll do is uh, we'll have Nathan Martin in a singles match against Edge let's see how these two do hopefully Nathan Martin can get a good match out of him Ah, oh, we've we've gone too far with that. Maybe we just need to downgrade this. There you go. There we go. Right. Oh bloody hell. Right. There we go. Right, ready to go. Um ah, 79, that's more like it. Oh, that's just the angle. The angle did well. If the angle did well, hopefully the match will do well. Ah, the match didn't do that well. Uh Jetta with an eight of eighty performance, which is probably one of the best performances she's put in so far. The other three women were absolutely rubbish, but 69 and too bad. And then the men's 10-man ten ten match uh, got a 79. William, Ra William Grange won, so let's have a look at the ratings. 82 for Scotty Davis. Yes, thank God. So we've got one superstar out of that. So we can push Scotty Davis. Um, any other ones that are all right? Tate Mayfair is okay. William Grange is okay. Rocky Mack is okay. Paris Silva's okay, um, Pop did, oh, did quite well, but the rest were, I mean, press 10, only got 58, so uh, Sean Jackson, 65. Ricardo was okay, but not, like, amazing. Um, the angle afterwards only got a 68. There we go, that's more like it. 81 for the main event, probably because of the fact that Nathan Martin's so good in the ring. Um, Edge is still a bit rusty, so maybe that's the reason why his in-ring performance is not good. But yeah, Nathan Martin won that match. Uh, it got 127 people. We've improved our popularity in one region and we got a 79 rating overall. So that's a really good episode of Afterburn for several reasons. Scotty Davis, remember that name, everyone. So we are going to put him in against um, probably Nathan Martin or Thomas Billington at the next show. Let's test him out in a one-on-one -on -one match against a good worker. So I've got Baxter, my dog, trying to jump up here. So I'm just trying to distract him and hope he gets bored in a minute. Right, so what I'll do then is I will be back in a minute for the pay-per-view, Planet Terror. Uh, the big event, sorry. And then that'll be the last show of the episode because it's been it's been quite long because the intro was 10 minutes long as it was so um i'll hold on let me do this first there we go i'll see you in a sec right so we've got planet terror now the last show of the episode um sorry there's not been much um action going on in this but obviously the intro took about 10 minutes talking through the new game which i think people might be more excited about than watching me anyway so um, yeah, so next episode will be a little bit better because we'd have already talked about the game, the new game. So it will be back to just doing this. Um, but yeah, another normal boring backstage incident with Kane and Blue Kane, sorry, and Johnny Kidd. Right, so first match we'll probably do is do Pack versus. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I'm going to go AR Fox. Just think them two in real life would have an absolute like ridiculous match together and we'll go ice spots in this one and now we'll do a post match beat down by pack Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Right, add match. There we go. And then what we'll do now is we'll have a women's match. We'll have sorry versus you. Oh, we can't have you. We'll have Jeff for them. So uh, oh no, we can't have these two wrestling each other because they don't have very good chemistry. I did not want to click on my search. Oh, thank you. Actually, let me just check something here. 
so on. Um, right, I was just looking at the search history. <laughs> Not that I'd look at anything dodgy, but I thought, oh God, is there anything there? It was more to do with the fact of uh, keeping my uh, identity. Not that nobody would know who I am anyway, but you know what I mean. Right, so we'll do Kaho Kobayashi. Hopefully they'll have an absolute banger of a match. I know I keep saying it, but Seamus' fault. I say it all the time now. Just do this angle. Unfortunately, I've got to do quite a few angles in this because it's an event. Um, right, let's do let's do a tag team match. Let's do four way tag team match. Uh, right, let's do we'll do pretty deadly. Uh, we can't have more than hype in this because they're not available, unfortunately, for some reason. We've only got four tag teams available that I can put in this one. I don't want to put the Dino Hearts in there because Thomas Billington's got to have a match. We've already done that, uh, yeah. Young Guns. We'll just do 15 minutes for this. Uh, right. Let's do... Right, let's do a couple of single matches. Actually, we'll do a six-way single match. Um, male, and then we'll have uh, Kid Lycos. We'll put Andy Wall because he's not wrestled for us yet. I don't, I mean, might have done actually. I can't remember. Dave Mastiff, we'll put in there. Joseph Connors, Levi Mule, Mark Briscoe. Um, sorry, I need to do that 15 minutes because Dave Mastiff won't be able to wrestle that long. Right, 8 8 minutes. We've got 100 minutes to go basically if we wanted to, or we could just keep it short and sweet and we can just do 40 minutes more. Uh, we need to do a match and then an angle. So we'll just do singles match now, and then we'll do female. Um, do sorry versus uh I don't know actually who do we put her against who's actually good in the ring that's the problem do we try starfire i don't think she's wrestled for us yet hopefully she can have a good match with sorry and then we'll do sorry Microphone, Starfire, Microphone. Do that before their match. Um, oh my god, this mouse is so temperamental. I'm not even touching it and it just automatically does what I don't want it to do. Right. Another singles match. Male. And then we'll have... Rich Swan versus no, actually, I might have Scott Davis in the main event. Um, Kieran, if it lets me, where's I typed in Kieran properly, didn't I? Kieran Kelly will put in there. And then what we'll do is we'll do one more match. And we'll do Thomas Billington versus Scotty Davis, who impressed me at the last Afterburn episode. And we'll have Thomas Billington defend his title. 
Vlad Thomas win. We'll go steal the show, open match, all that match. Ah, okay. Well, we can't put Scotty Davis in a match that long, so we'll do 15 minutes. Now we'll just do an angle before the show, before the match, sorry. Thomas Billings, microphone, Scotty Davis, microphone. Oh, I nearly popped up there. Right, let's do, no, there we go. Ah, oh, for God's sake, right. Right, that's in the order that I want it to be. Um, we won't be penalised, so let's just get cracking now. Uh, 77 for the opening match between Puck and AR Fox. AR Fox performed really well as well. Puck with 82, so that's good that he's doing well. The angle afterwards didn't do very well. Uh, the women's angle got 73, which isn't too bad. The women's match got 78. Um, Keho only got a 64 rating, so... The match was alright because the Jetta, so but Keho can't keep up to her level, which is a shame. Uh, and then Pretty Deadly defeated the Gates of Destiny, the Bounty Hunters and the Young Guns, got a 72 rating. Elton Prince was probably the standout performer with a 77, Kit Wilson with a 72. The other tag teams were absolutely rubbish. Ah, this is not good. 33 for the angle with the two women. Uh, 69 for the match though, which isn't too bad, mostly because of Siri. Uh, Starfire is absolutely rubbish. And then the six man tag, uh, sorry, six man match um, was won by Kid Lycos, got a 79. Kid Lycos got an 86. He was the stand up performer. Joseph Connors with an 80. The rest were just not very good. Levon Moore got 61, which I think is pretty good for him. Andy Wilde didn't exactly set the world on fire. Um, which Rich Swan defeated Kieran Kelly, got an 81. Kieran Kelly only got a 66, which is a shame. And then the angle set up the main event only got 54. 88 rating for the match, though, so that's good. Scotty Davis only with a 71, which is disappointing after the last performance he had, but maybe it was because of the style of the match that we did. But yeah, not too bad. We've increased the popularity in 55 regions. Overall rating of 83, and we got 448 people, which is the biggest crowd we've ever done. So we are starting to get some people in now. Not that it'll help the finances too much, because I've tied a lot of wrestlers down to written contracts per month. So that's going to be... I'm not looking forward to uh, starting the new month and seeing what the finances are going to be like. At the moment, we're 490,000 in debt. <laughs> So I need to change that immediately, but I'll do that afterwards. Um, but yeah, I will leave you to it for today. Um, I'm just going to move this across here, like so. Stupid software, stupid mouse. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Please, leave. I always really appreciate people leaving comments. So the people who have been leaving comments so far, thank you. It really helps me know that you're enjoying this or what particular bits you're enjoying and if you're not enjoying it then i can look into that as well um i hope you like the start of the video me talking about the new tw game i'm excited to see what the new features are going to be if they're going to be any good how they'll do how they'll do when you're playing a modern data game of it so anyway i will be back on sunday with another episode of tw um and i'll speak to you soon all the best bye